Hi guys, we're from Phone and I'm going to be unboxing the LE TV or LE Echo Lay 1S. Actually, if you remember, we did a hands on of this device from uh, Beijing uh, a couple of months back. And the good news is that this device is actually available in India now. It's going to be available in India uh, very soon. Uh, registrations have started on, on Flipkart. So, this is actually still the Chinese unit, but we thought we'll quickly unbox it and give you a look. We never did an unboxing. So, here's the device, not much on the box, considering this is the uh, Chinese variant, the LE TV logo on the back the sides and also the back you have the specs here in Chinese so that's pretty much it let's actually uh, get hold of the device first so let's open up the box and you see the beautiful device so we did like this device a lot and we checked it out in Beijing too so uh, this is basically a unibody design uh, metal device uh, a very attractive price the funny thing is actually more expensive in China than India it's priced at about 10,990 in India and you can actually also get a cash back if you have an access bank uh, card and also they're giving away something uh, on ping which is a flip card social network you get about 300 rupees off if you share uh, on, about this device on ping and so yeah roughly it works out if you have a access bank card it works out to roughly about 10,000 odd rupees and for that kind of money you're getting uh, a great uh, product in terms of design and specs very well spec device um, it's got a 5.5 inch screen on the front, beautiful feel in the hand, real premium build quality and you have also have this fingerprint sensor which is pretty fast on the back and you also have a uh, very uh, good camera on the back, it's a 13 megapixel camera with a LED flash, uh, you'll be trying all that out, you also have a 5, 5 megapixel camera on the front and what I really liked about this device I told you when the hands on is that they placed it really well. Uh, the proximity sensor and the camera so it looks like actually somebody is looking at you it looks like a face rather than some uh, very crazy placement on iPhones and Samsung devices this looks uh, pretty nice and fun so let's actually get rid of this plastic films on the outside and uh, yes so let's get rid of this on the front as well so you can see there's a USB type C port on the bottom and LETV is one of the first companies to integrate uh, my USB Type C on their product. I think we did show you their products from uh, I think JMIC uh, last year in March or April. So that's when uh, the mobile phone started getting uh, the USB Type C standard. So LED is one of the first companies to have that standard on board. And you also have these uh, speaker machine drilled uh, holes here. Uh, beautiful build quality and the likes of it. Let's actually take a look at the box contents. Nothing much here. It's going to be obviously different for India, you're going to be getting an Indian plug, but here we have a US or Chinese plug here. So this also supports uh, quick charging, that's why you have a really fat brick here. So you have quick charging, so it goes up to 12 volts with quick charger. So that's the USB, uh, normal USB type A water adapter, but you also get a cool USB type A to type C cable in the box. So you can use any charger with this cable. I'm going to be stealing this cable for sure. It'll be very handy for charging my Nexus 5X or even OnePlus 2. This is the SIM ejector tool. Let's actually open the phone up in a second. And you also get some marketing material here. So it's called the X500 LETV or X508. You can use, it's a single micro SIM and a single nano SIM. The SIM card tray, there's no memory expansion. But you have 32 gigs of internal memory for a 10,000 rupee phone, which is not too bad. Um, so that's the good part. So you have 32 gigs of onboard storage. Um, and let's actually power it on. So it's actually powering on. So while it powers on, let's give you an uh, overview on the hardware. So as I told you, it's a great build quality. And for this price, it seriously uh, seems uh, really unbelievable how they managed to pack so much and offer it. Normally you get such flimsy, you don't get uh, such great build quality at this price point. Uh, very few brands do that. So it's running on EUI, uh, which is uh, the company's uh, interface, user interface. This runs on top of Android 5.0 and Lollipop. Let's actually wait for it to power on. So it's taking some time. So while it takes some time, uh, let's see, this is a USB Type-C again. On the back, you have this uh, 12 megapixel camera, 13 megapixel camera, and the microphone hold right next to it. So this is the X500. So I think the Indian variant might have slightly different branding. You might say LE Echo because the company is rebranded from LE TV to LE Echo. So the company started off as a TV streaming service in China and now they went to consumer electronics. So that's the reason the name is changing. And here you have fingerprint sensor. 
and uh, on the left side you have the SIM card tray. So you've set up the device and also the fingerprint sen uh, sensor so that we can show you the fingerprint demo. So yes, so let's set up. So let's actually power off the, like unlock the phone now using just the fingerprint. So as you can see, it opens up pretty quick. Let's do it one more time. So, so it works pretty well. Let me try with a different finger now. So, so it opens very well too. And let's also show you that you're not faking it. <laughs> so this is a different finger where I'm not going to be registering the fingerprint. So let's try what happens. So it doesn't really respond. It just gives you a beep. If you use a finger which is not registered. So if you use a finger if it's registered, it unlocks immediately. Another cool feature I actually saw while setting up the phone is the remote control. And I've actually set up my carrier AC and TV. So I'm going to be actually turning off the AC now from the phone. So let's see if we can do this. So you heard that beep, so that's from the AC. And this is a feature which used to come in really expensive phones, but this is being coming now not at 10,000 rupee price point, which is crazy and uh, pretty awesome to have this feature. You can change even your TV. So I have this TV, uh, my Wood TV also set up. So as you can see, this is the channel for that and the volume and all that. So this is set up with the TV. Uh, so I'm actually uh, using with the TV as well. So that's pretty cool to have. And let's actually quickly check the storage and the Android version, that's the most uh, asked question. So it's running on Android 5.02 uh, with the EUI of 5.5 version. It's actually powered by MediaTek uh, Elio X10 octa-core CPU clocked at 2.2 GHz. We're getting three gigs of RAM as well, which is pretty cool uh, for a device priced this competitively. And uh, let's also check out the free storage available considering there's only onboard storage. So you have about 24.46 gigabyte available um, to you about uh, out of the uh, 32 which is formatted to 29 and you're using about 4.66 for the uh, OS pretty uh, decent number uh, the uh, storage available so what also I noticed is that the notification tray or the app drawer is a little different here so there's no app drawer you have only pages very similar to some other phones uh, but not the traditional Android experience so it's slightly different and also you see that if you press this button over here on the left, you get up the get your toggles here for your Wi-Fi, music player and all controls like torchlight, uh, copy paste, calculator and all that stuff. Uh, so you have to press this key to get that. Uh, I mean, just um, I think it's single press. Okay, so this is single press on that key. You get also your all apps currently running. Um, you can actually clear the memory even here. So that's pretty cool right from within the interface so you clear your memory in case you're running out of uh, so there's about 1.4 gigs available uh, out of the 3 gigs uh, after usage so we'll be doing a lot more videos about the device so that was a quick unboxing and uh, hands-on with the uh, LE TV or Lay Echo 1 Lay 1S it's going on sale uh, on Flipkart soon uh, you can register now if you want to get one of those devices and it's a pretty good value for money device really uh, amazing specs for the price so do let us know what you think about the device and also what uh, any questions you have about the device do ask us in the comments and we try to answer it and uh, that's about it so thanks for watching see you in the next video